There are few pursuits more important than living an intentional life. To choose a life that is not wasted, but to center our energies on pursuits of lasting values is perhaps one of the best decisions we can make. However, in a world that calls repeatedly for our attention and our affection, intentional living can be difficult and requires daily focus. I learned the discipline of setting my intention every morning when I was in college, and over 20 years later, I still recite the same sentence each morning. A spiritual mentor was the first person to share this idea with me, and he said it like this, every morning before I start my day, I recite a simple sentence that goes like this, today I commit myself to blank. This sentence, which I purposefully didn't fill in with his words, gets to be filled however you choose to complete it. Whatever intention you believe to be the most important. For example, today I commit myself to being the best mother I can be. Today I commit myself to being a faithful spouse. Today I commit myself to healthy eating. Today I commit myself to selflessness. Today I commit myself to a spiritual pursuit. Today, I commit myself to this work goal. I commit myself to getting out of debt. Tens of thousands of people will watch this video, and what's interesting is that tens of thousands of different sentences will probably emerge. The possibilities are endless, but your specific sentence should be singular and specific. Choose one intention, the most important and consequential, and set your mind, your day, and yourself in that direction. It's not difficult to do and has served to be entirely life-changing for me. But let me continue for just a moment here. Uh, Here's a few things to keep in mind about this practice that I've learned over the years. Number one, set your intention as early in the morning as possible. At the beginning, you might find it helpful to combine the statement with a trigger action like taking a shower or brushing your teeth, your first sip of coffee. Choose a time before the day gets away from you and distractions begin to set in and state your attention out loud. Number two, your intention setting sentence can be completed in a second or it can be meditated on for hours. This sentence holds value in just the few seconds it takes to recite. It reminds your mind and your heart and your soul of your desire for the day. But it's also a statement that can be meditated upon for hours if time permits? What does it mean for me to be the best parent that I can be? What are the most important work projects that I should be focusing on? What does it look like to live a selfless life today? Most days, I set my intention with just a few words in the shower, but I've never regretted the time of focusing deeper upon it. Either way, just saying it aloud will cause you to begin thinking about it. Number three, Setting your attention every morning doesn't eliminate distractions. I've done this for decades, but there have still been countless times where I've been distracted from that pursuit. Stating your intention doesn't mean you'll never slip up in your desire for it, but it does remind you each morning of your goal for the day, and it sets your affection upon it. Beginning your day focused on an intentional approach beats drifting through life every day. Number four, your intention is not the only thing you'll do that day. You're not uttering a statement of exclusion. You can commit yourself in the morning to be an intentional father while still going to work and focusing on your career goals. But your stated intention will help keep your focus in the right place. And that's the goal. Number five, your intention may change every day or it might stay the same. My intention every morning centers on my faith and it hasn't changed. It's my most important pursuit every day as I seek to live the most fulfilling and abundant life that I can. But it's not required for you to keep it the same. I would warn against changing it every day, I suppose, but it's perfectly natural for our goals and intentions to change as we pass through the various seasons of our life. Number six, setting your intention gets easier over time. Try it right now before we go any further. What is it that you most want your life to be focused on today? Even if there's just a few hours left, try it for the very first time. Now, try to remember to repeat that again in the morning. If you forget, and you probably will, don't worry. Just set your intention as soon as you remember to do so. 
Over time, you'll find it easier and easier to remember in the morning, and soon it will be part of your regular routine. Let me end with this. If you don't know what intention is worth setting, here are some helpful questions to get you started. Number one, what are the two to three most important things that you want to accomplish in your life? Does one stand out above the others? Number two, is there a role in your life you feel compelled to succeed at? Number three, is there an overarching spiritual belief or worldview that helps you make sense of the world? Does that motivate you to live a full life? Number four, what current healthy life change are you pursuing? Number five, when you close your eyes at night, what daily accomplishment leaves you feeling the most fulfilled? Do any of those questions draw out a pursuit more important than the others? Did you notice any reoccurring themes in your answers to those questions? Did any of your responses surprise you? Were there any words or phrases that seem to represent your passions better than others? If you're struggling to come up with the perfect wording to complete your sentence, please don't. Start with what you know to be true. You can change it as soon as tomorrow. Intentional living is one of the best gifts we can ever give ourselves. It's also one of the most significant gifts we can give to the people we love and the world around us. So get started each day with one simple sentence. Today, I choose to live an intentional life.